Dr. Diana's Halloween Science video series. In tonight's video, we're going to learn how to take your everyday common mealworm and dip it into chocolate and eat it to really gross out your guests. And after you eat it in front of your guests, you can challenge your guests to eat some as well. Now we're going to the process of how to actually get our mealworms so they're dipped in chocolate. Let's first find out a little bit about what a mealworm is. A mealworm is the larvae of a darkling beetle. It's called a mealworm, but it has no relation to an earthworm whatsoever. When you look at a mealworm, a mealworm has six legs. Insects have six legs. This is a creature that is going through metamorphosis. It's going to turn into a darkling adult beetle not too long from now. But if you look at an earthworm, an earthworm has no legs whatsoever. It has a mouth and an anus. All buy mealworms from your local pet store. They're used by people to feed their reptiles and amphibians and whatever else. Science teachers use them to teach metamorphosis. Buy the mealworms. There's two types of mealworms to buy. There's a super mealworm, which sells 20 for a dollar. And there's a much smaller size that sells $84. And those I would not suggest for dipping in chocolate. They're so tiny. However, they're good for using in the classroom to teach metamorphosis. So you can buy your mealworms at most local pet stores. Again, the large super mealworms are the ones we're going to be dipping in chocolate and they're about $24. Remember, they are an insect. They're going through metamorphosis. Obviously, we're not going to be dipping live mealworms into chocolate. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our mealworms we're going to place them into a Ziploc bag, and then we're going to place them into the freezer. You need to place the mealworms into the freezer for at least 15 minutes. When you take it out after 15 minutes and they're still moving, then you need to put them in for another 15 minutes. After you're done, after the mealworms are no longer moving, is our next step. What you'll do is select a chocolate, white, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, Melt in the microwave for probably about a minute, no more because it will start to burn. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our mealworms that have been placed in the freezer. They're no longer moving. This mealworm is dead. This mealworm is not. We're then going to take this mealworm and we're going to cover it in chocolate. And we're going to take our tweezer and we're going to place the mealworm on top of a plate that's been lined with wax paper. Let them cool. Store them if you have to, to, sit, to serve during your Halloween party. You be the first one to eat one of these at your Halloween party and challenge your guests to be the next one. So, so just a refresher, what we did is we took our mealworms and we placed them into the freezer for 15 minutes until they were no longer living. And then we melted some chocolate into the microwave and we're going to cover the mealworms up in the chocolate. And then we're going to place them onto a plate that's been lined with wax paper. So we take one mealworm at a time, covered in chocolate that's been melted. And I used a, I used a dark chocolate to melt. The night of your Halloween party, be the first one to eat a chocolate-covered mealworm and challenge your guests to eat some as well. Bon appetit. Delicious. Keep in mind that the mealworm has a crunchy exoskeleton. Happy Halloween.